I brought my kids to do martial art that I used to do when I was living here in Germany back in the days, which is called capoeira. So when I lived in Germany back then, me and Melody, we did it for four years. So he's trying to show Kiki, but Kiki's just doing her own thing. But they'll learn eventually. Like I said, it's their first time properly. Look at Kale. Doing the movements quite nice. Kiki is doing quite well, but she's she's not able to do cartwheel very well yet. But she's doing the other part. Mother's Day, everyone! We are out again in the sun, taking the kids to the playground. A little bigger one. So we have two playgrounds close by. You want to show them the toys? Okay, one minute. So you have one right behind our apartment, which is very close. And then this one is just a little bit further, not much further. But it's bigger, it has a bigger sand area where they can play. They have swings, they have a climbing thingy. They have a, what do you call it? Gymnastic railing thingy. They have a slide, they have seesaw. And then it's also in a park where people tend to sit. Right beside the church, I'll show you in a minute. Where people sit out in the sun. Yeah. They're looking at the fountain. We have a lot of them throughout the town. And then there's also a river flowing. So I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, this is how we're spending our Mother's Day. Well, for the afternoon. Or early afternoon, I should say. And then we're gonna go back home and cook some dinner and eat some more cake and drink some champagne. Yeah. So let me show you how the park looks now. So this is the park, which is also at the back of the school. So all of this is a school and the church that mommy was talking about is right straight ahead, but the trees are blocking it right now. What? with the twin towers going all the way up it's a massive church but here's the river sometimes you see kids playing around in it that's the school there it is oh nice and then the playground is over there to the left so I'll show you that in a minute as well so they even have tables for table tennis <laughs> so you just bring your ball and your racket <laughs> there's a dog running around like crazy well yeah there's a playground coming up like I said that's the climby thingy there on the right swing to the back and a little seesaw for them and then you see the gymnastic railing there and then you see the slide there and like I said, all of it is with sand. Yeah, they make bubbles. And yeah, so it's a nice place. The other place has sand too, which you saw, but it's not as big with the sand area. The other place has more spread out play stuff. So they could be the same size, but this is more together. So Kale just found a bucket that some kid left. Even though know, they have their own toys, but you know, kids, the more toys, the better. Yeah. Why don't you do that in the sun? Why you do it out here? It doesn't make sense. I want to play. Yeah. Because you play in the sun, you don't take play it in here. Give grandma the bag and take the toys to the sun. Put them in the bucket. Yeah. 
Yeah, you have shade right there, so oh, you'll be cool. Yeah. So they're in the shade playing now. I mean, it's not hot. It's nice and warm. Enjoying it because the breeze tends to be a little cool. Still, you know. But when the sun is shining directly, any is really nice. It's like we're loading up on vitamin D. We're that was missing. Reloading, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So. I have to keep my tongue at least a bit. You know, it's no comparison to Jamaica, and I hear that Jamaica is extremely hot right now. Extremely. Yeah, I can live without that. No. Yes. So this hot this here is, is fine. Comfortable. This is good. So yeah. Hi guys. So I'm sick. Turns out throughout the day for Mother's Day, I started feeling very tingly and weak and I feel like I did some exercise so my whole body is in pain um so we came home and I've been trying to get some rest but you know with kids that's kind of hard but I just wanted to do an end of day video for you guys and due to the fact that I wasn't feeling well I wasn't able to record as much as well KJ sleeping and these two arguing as always <laughs> so just want to wish everyone a happy Mother's Day again and see you next time hi guys <laughs> as you can hear I'm quite hoarse because I've been ill since today's Wednesday. I've been ill since Sunday since Mother's Day. Caught the flu, I guess with the weather change and stuff and lack of sleep and whatever. My body couldn't resist getting sick. So I haven't been able to do any videos during that time because I was just really, really bad. I was in pain, had fever, the shivers, everything. The only thing I didn't have was a stuffy nose. But I have a cough, a really bad cough. <clears throat> but today is, as I said, Wednesday. And I brought my kids to do martial arts that I used to do when I was living here in Germany back in the days, which is called capoeira. So for all you Jamaicans, remember the movie it was an old movie i think from 1993 and everyone called it banana way because they used to sing banana way banana way and they did a martial art that is it decided that my kids would probably love it too. I did bring them last week to check it out and they did do a little and they had a lot of fun but I was too occupied with doing a lot of things I wasn't able to record either so today I'm recording though so I can show you they haven't really started yet. Everyone is not here yet um, <clears throat> but I can show you who my trainer is, where my kids are and then you can see What's going on so far? That guy moving the ball, that's my trainer. He's my trainer from back then. He's from Brazil. Yeah, but he's the one who does the training. Yeah, go for it. And his name, his capoeira name is Miguel. Don't remember. Yeah, Kiki, go to Spiel, make video. That's his capoeira name. So in capoeira, when you get, they call it baptized, um, you get a capoeira name. And his name.
name is Nigao. My name that I got was Gata, which is um, Kiet because of my eyes, of course. So there are my kids, Kiki and Kale. <clears throat> so today's kids' training. And what my trainer likes to do is let the kids basically play with balls and whatever first and then he starts to make them do some warm-ups which is very playful as well and then normally he usually gives them some movements that they have to do and then at the end of the training they do something called a hoda which is a circle so everybody stands around in a big circle and then two individuals two kids two adults but today's kids basically use their skills that they learned and show what they could do and basically show you how to do the martial art. So capoeira is a dancing form of martial art and the reason why it's called that because back in the day, in the slavery day, was <clears throat> um, they used they they had to disguise their training as a dance because if the, the the masters and whoever the owners of the slaves would see them train trying to defend themselves they would get whipped they would get killed and whatever so they had to disguise it as a dance so you have the jenga the jenga is a basic move that's basically how the dance starts and then you just add in the martial art, different movements, acrobatics as well. So it's good to be flexible in that department. It's also good to be um, very trained. As in, if you go to the gym and have strength, it's good to have a good amount of strength because it takes a lot of, a lot of, what, what do you call it? Um, muscle control sometimes you might do things fast and then other times you have to do things slow but you have to make sure it's done in a proper way and then in the whole day I have different types of fighting methods for well, two different types one is called the Hejona and the other one is called Angola so the Hejona is the more fast swift acrobatic wow oh my god that's so awesome and then the Angola is a more slow pace, but lower, so that takes a lot of back work and leg work. Still the same movements, but it's just slower, so that's where the um, muscle control really comes in. And the flexibility as well. And I, in my opinion, I think the Angola is actually more intense than the Hegenau. The Hegenau is just like, Cardiff, you know you get very active but yeah also in capoeira they have an instrument a main instrument they have a couple of instruments but the main instrument is a berimbau so they also had to use that back in the day in the slavery time to alert um the, the people that were training doing the martial arts to alert them that if the masters were coming, the owners, or if police was coming or whatever, so they used the, the, the instruments to alert them. But to the, to the slave masters, the owners, they always thought they were just playing some music, <clears throat> which is a very interesting sound, which you probably heard. So I, I even heard it in some songs. starting now so he usually starts doing a circle with them on the floor and let them introduce themselves so let me just show you what they're doing all right 
as I said before, um, here in Germany, people are not too keen on getting recorded, so I have to be very careful of how I'm recording because one of the child's parents doesn't want his child to be recorded, so it might be a bit cut off. Um, but yeah, so he's now doing a circle with them, um, letting them introduce themselves, and then he's going to start training with them. So, stay tuned. All right, so now he's starting to show them some movements. So, as I said, the dance form Jenga, that's how they used to trick them into thinking that they were just dancing. So that's the basic movement, which is called a Jenga. <laughs> So he's trying to show Kiki, but Kiki's just doing her own thing. But they'll learn eventually. Like I said, it's their first time properly. But I won't be able to record too much because, you know, once they start moving up and down, the child might come in the camera, so I just have to be limited with my recording. Everyone else was okay, but it's just one person at this point. So now they're doing a movement called small au, which is small cartwheel. But she's doing the other part. Okay. Oh, Mr. Kale likes to show off with his push ups. But right now they're supposed to be doing some headstands and head handstands. Kale, Kale, umdrehen. Handstand. Nicht schlafen. Die Brücke. Ja. Die Brücke. Die Brücke. Mach die Hand runter, Kiki. Ja, genau so. Kiki, ja. Kali, mach mal Handstand. Oder Kopfstand. Now we're doing some obstacle training with them. They're supposed to run through the cones and when they're coming back, they're supposed to do car wheels. All right, guys, so training took like an hour. And as I said, I wasn't able to do lots of recording because some of the parents didn't want, or one of the parents didn't want his kid to be recorded. But training took like an hour and we're done now. So I'm letting the kids play a little on the playground because we're on a school compound. So there they are. They got this climbing thing, they got to that's a bike and I think this is supposed to be a horse or something
Hey guys, so this is editing Mel here. Don't mind me, I look crazy. Um, but yeah, this is it for this video. Um, you know, the kids are doing the martial art that me and my Yumi used to do back in the day. And it's really nice to see them doing it because I know they're going to enjoy it because we used to enjoy it back then. So um, yeah, this is it for this vlog. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!